What's up guys, it's Chase from Renderite and today we are over in Mount Manganui in Tauranga and also known as Mawa. Um, we're here today to take some reference videos and images and we're gonna create a kind of not like a replica but a kind of similar to what we have here in the mount. I'm gonna do a couple of scenes, set up a few images um, maybe set up a few videos, stuff like that. So, yeah, we're gonna go and have a walk around the mount, and yeah, let's get going. Here we are at the mount. We're just gonna go for a walk down the mount, have a look around, take in some of the scenery, see what it's like. Yeah, like I said, it's it's pretty cold out today. It's it's coming up to winter in New Zealand, so yeah, it's a bit freezing. And mind the wind, it is pretty windy as well. So yeah, let's see how we go. So as you can see, the mount is a pretty friggin' awesome place. It's pretty massive. We'll try to climb it and see how we go. Just gonna go around, take some videos. I'll walk you past the place that I worked on a few years ago and done some renders on as well. So yeah, we'll check that out. Coming up to the building that I worked on a few years ago, uh, just doing the renders for it. But yeah, it's these apartments right here. Which was a pretty freaking awesome job to work on. I'll add the renders in the video. But yeah, we're going to continue to take a look around the mount. Got my favourite ice cream shop coming up on the right hand side. And Mount Hot Pools over there. But yeah, this is my favourite ice cream shop here. Copenhagen Cones. And then the old dairy, the old shop. But yeah, we're going to go take a look around the mount. We are at the base of the mount at the moment. Which is up there. The tide's actually quite high today. Uh, I didn't I didn't check the tides before coming so I don't know if I can go around by where the rocks and stuff are. You can kind of see down over there. But we'll go for a walk around anyway and have a look. So yeah, let's go check it out. So we're just gonna have a walk around. Just gonna go for maybe a walk up the top, we'll see. But yeah, you can see it is a bloody beautiful place here in, in Tauranga. Especially Mount Manganui. It is an amazing place. Beautiful trees, beautiful rocks. It's an amazing landscape. Yeah, we're just going to have a walk around, check out how it is. I don't know if you can see, but... Give me a second. See if I can zoom in here. There's an island out there. You can see that's Matakana Island. That's another island off the coast of Bay of Plenty. That island over there, that's called Leisure Island. Zooming out, sorry. 
There we go. Anyway, we'll keep having a look around. All of these trees through here are beautiful Pudukawa trees. I don't know their scientific name, but I just know they're called Pahutakala trees. But yeah, you can see we have some grasses along here. Just taking some reference images and videos. See, there's the rock pools down there. Yeah, it's really awesome down there. I'm just going to keep having a look around and get closer. Sometimes you can see seals down here. Oh, look at that rock. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here, I'm going to zoom in. Right there. That's probably just from the erosion from all the water hitting all the rocks. But yeah, and then we have this wall over here that's kind of been carved out. People come and put their names up in here. But yeah, we'll keep having a look around. These are the rock pools down around the mountain. Got some nice pieces of wood, heaps of shells. Really incredible rocky landscape here. All of these rocks are real soft. But... Awesome coastal area around here. Yeah, let's, let's continue walking around. For the mount, for this huge thing here, I think I might download like a height map if I can find one or go to open topography and try and sort something there that I can import into Twin Motion um, that I can use as, you know, the mount. So, yeah, I need to figure that out, but I think that would be quite easy. I've done it before with other, other projects, so yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, we have another little book out here. Which is cool. That's the, the name for, for Mount Manui, or the Māori name for, for Mount Manui. Uh, but yeah, we're going to keep going. It's actually quite a nice walk uh, around the mountain here. Here's another really good lookout spot. We have some awesome New Zealand flax through here. I don't know, I've always, always been attracted to the flax. It looks really nice. So there's this little channel um, over here that run, runs through here. And, and that's where all the, the ships come into the to the harbour over here. Uh, all the cruise ships and shipping ships, container ships, all the stuff like that. And on the other side, you've got Matakana, um, which is the island that I was trying to explain before. So yeah, that runs all the way along there. And people actually live over on that island. It's, So yeah, this is my home country, uh, this is where I'm from.
getting around the side here. Um, it doesn't take very long to walk around the mountain, maybe like 30 minutes if you walk quickly. But yeah, we're nearly there, so yeah. We're coming around the side here. Uh, we're about three quarters of the way through. Um, oh yeah, look. The flax again. I don't know, I just love the flax. Some people do, some people don't. But I like it. Anyway, let's keep walking through here. I'm just observing everything, like the ground, you know, all the leaves, the decals I could be using, the textures I could be using, materials, foliage, all that kind of stuff. There's Medicana over there. Uh, I think there was a huge fire there not too long ago and it destroyed quite a lot of the forestry over there. But yeah, it goes all the way down there. So this is a track to the summit. This is one of the tracks to the summit. I'm not going to go up there, but I'll just go up to this huge rock over here, this rock face. Just to observe that because it is freaking awesome. Look at that. I know, I have a real, real strong love for this place. But yeah, there's the trek up to the summit. Look at all those trees that have fallen down there. Turned into a nice soft driftwood, smooth driftwood. The reason I'm doing this tutorial um, is just to show a way how I go about getting references for my scenes that I set up so I can go back and have a look, you know, at, at the, the small details and stuff like that. It's just stuff that I can go back and have a look on later on. You know, just to improve my scenes and also tell you guys a little bit uh, about where I'm from. So yeah, now that I'm um, on the other side of the mount, it's um, a little bit colder again. So yeah, I might put my hood back on just because I'm in the shade now. So yeah, we're going to keep going around. We're nearly there. Take a few more shots and then get into the tutorial. Uh, starting with twin motion, so stay tuned. Just a random stone wall that's been built for a painting. It's real lush through here, a lot of greenery. That's some cool thing about New Zealand is that it's really, really green. Wherever you look, green. We might just go down here quickly. I just want to show you guys something. I just want to show you the surfboard man. So this is the channel where it comes into the harbour over here. And that's where all the shipping containers and cruise ships and stuff like that come in. Just because it's deep enough through here. We're coming up to a statue in the water. Pretty sure it was either bronze or, or copper, something like that. It just turned green, and it's oxidized from the, the ocean water. But yeah. yeah, so we're coming up to some steps over here. Uh, it's really windy, so sorry if it's affecting the microphone. Um, but I just want to show you this as well, just these locks on here. Yeah. And this little driftwood hut. Just kind of cool.
we're nearly at the end of our journey. Um, yeah, we're coming up to to the end of the the, the track for the base of the mount. Um, we've got some pretty good images and videos, so yeah, I'm going to take those back to my PC and go over them with you guys and start setting up a scene. We're just going to do another environment for now. Um, just because I think environments are hard to crack because of the, the need for such natural lighting and all of that type of stuff. So, you know, if you, if you can crack environment lighting with foliage and all of that, you can kind of do anything with interior lighting and exterior lighting. So, yeah, I, I think... I think starting off with environments is, is a pretty big deal, especially in my opinion. So yeah, we're gonna finish this track and then go back to the PC and get started. So to anyone who's followed through to the end of this video or to this part anyway, thank you heaps. Um, it means a lot and yeah, remember to like and subscribe to keep me going because yeah, that motivates me a heck of a lot. So yeah, let's keep going. So you can kind of see that we're coming to the end of the track now. Oh, there's a street back over there. So we're nearly done. Uh, it's winter, so the sun's like already starting to go down, which is ridiculous, but oh well, that's why it's so cold all the time. So basically this is the end of the, the base track here. Just where this little pier, pier is. You can actually drive down here, I think. Just showing you the track that we walked. So we started down there and we walked all that per oh, pink one around. We finished the walk now. Um, we're, we're back at the start where we started. Uh, over there is where that, that building I worked on. So yeah, we're back at the start. We're gonna go head back to the office now and start unloading all my reference videos and images and start getting started in twin motion. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is only part one, so part two is coming out. Keep an eye out for that, stay tuned, and yeah, we'll be jumping into twin motion in the next video.